Here we have a monet B4L. And the B4, uh, the B means B flat trumpet, which is really consistent with the length. And I'm going to measure the length right now. So we get 3165 if you round it up. And the 4 is the diameter. Uh, and I'm going to measure the diameter, which is a little tricky to do on the camera. Uh, I think I just overshot it a bit. I think it's 665 is what that's supposed to be. And then uh, in the 5mm system, we go down 120 thou, and that would come out to around 594. Okay, and I actually know those numbers are true because we have done a scan of this using the coordinate measuring machine. So I already know the measurements, but I just want to show you. And the throat on this one is, again, a little bit small. A lot of mouthpieces are on the small side. This one's 153. So it's kind of mid-range, small, um, it could be a lot bigger, but for what it's designed to do, it's probably just right. The back bore comes out to around 312 normally, so I'm just a hair off there because I'm on camera. And uh, you can see that there's not a lot of metal missing on the back. So that's uh, on the small side as well. Now, the B4L is one of the most common Monet mouthpieces that have been produced for lead players. There's also a BL4, that's a different mouthpiece. So the B4L is like the B4, only it has a slightly shallower cup. Sometimes we find the throats are different sizes, uh, typically smaller than the B4, uh, but sometimes bigger, because we've measured quite a few of these. And then the backboard tends to be a little tighter than the B4. In fact, the B4 backboard sometimes can be as big as like uh, 360. So this is uh, closer to 310. And this, I believe, is just a great all around mouthpiece that creates more vibrancy and color uh, and aids in the upper register. The throat entrance is not a big wide funnel, it's a little bit smaller. And uh, that, of course, is probably part of the L designation. So now, let's play it. Uh, we're playing on the HT6 Prototype 1, which is one of our first horns using carbon fiber. And this one has carbon fiber lead pipe, bottom caps, top cap stems, and uh, it's an all around nice plain horn that's not very heavy. <laughs> So I've been playing on a bunch of different rims doing reviews today, and this one should feel comfortable because it's very similar to my personal rim, even though it feels a little funny today. Um, overall, I really like the sound I get out of this Monet mouthpiece. If you were going to pick up a used Monet and you're looking to play all around and get up in the upper register uh, a fair amount, then the B4L is a great choice. and easy. I'll do some wide interval loops. Alright, so overall, very flexible and just a really vibrant tone. I'm getting quite a bit of the lows, a lot of the mids, and a fair amount of the highs in the partials, but not too many of the highs. Not so much that it sounds like a purely lead mouthpiece. It's just a great all-around mouthpiece. So that is the Monet B4L. And I want to remind all of you that uh, we're giving away free 5mm modular mouthpieces that could be configured to any size, including this or any other size you've seen us review, because we've scanned all the different sizes of mouthpieces, and our modular system, the 5mm modular mouthpiece, allows you to mix and match all of them. So if you enter the Trumpet Challenge, which is a weekly contest we do, and you win, you will win a 5mm modular mouthpiece.